Hello folks, this is Kevin Gilmore from Gilmore Britneys, located outside Boscobel, Wisconsin. We've been breeding and training Britneys for 26 years now. Our two winners from our drawing are Jenny Pearson and Keith Gillahan. If you uh, PM us your address and tell us your size, we'll get you two t-shirts out right away. We're going to do a drawing here when we get to 5,000 likes. We're 5,000 followers on our Facebook page and we're going to give away a pup to one lucky winner. That's a $2,500 value and it's not going to cost them a dime. So like us and share us on Facebook. Here's a uh, video of a dog at the stage that he's just about ready to be shot over. This is a technique we use for a dog that's a little more ambitious on catching the birds and sometimes kills them. So we take them out in the field and uh, we toss them down in front of them. You'll notice the third one and fourth one, I threw a little closer to him. It gives him, he almost catches them or does catch him. It gives him a little more drive to get it out there further and chase the bird so next we can start getting shot over with a cap gun. Uh, just another technique on how to use pigeons. Kind of got a funny story for you. Occasionally we do an intern here and he helps in the kennel and they scrape a little crap and feed dogs and things like that because let's face it there's more to dog training than just training dogs. You've, you've got to take care of them in the kennel too so that's an important part. So I took a dog to the vet one day, left the intern here working in the kennel all of a sudden, I just got down to the vet's office. I get this frantic phone call from him. He's telling me that one of my dogs is gone. He's standing in the middle of a field full of switchgrass, and he can't see the dog anywhere. And he's describing it. He thinks it's a white dog, white Brittany. And so I said, well, it's a 20-acre field. If you can't see that dog there in that switchgrass, he ain't there. Might as well go back to doing kennel chores, and he should come back. So describes what kennel it is. I call the guy up that owns the dog, tell him, hey, your dog got out. We're, we're looking for him, but we can't find him. He's got your collar on him. So if you get a phone call, you know what happened. Give me a call. He didn't seem too upset. I believe his termless shit happens, but he said it wasn't good. So I get home. I'm going to put the dog away that I took to the vet, and I get looking around. And here, the empty kennel that he was frantic about was the dog I had. And so just goes to show sometimes the uh, you never know with your environment around you if you aren't paying attention. Some little things can slip by you, but we all had a good laugh about it. So we didn't lose a dog that day, and we normally don't. But here's a video of a raccoon. I, I taped this video on my phone in Madison, Wisconsin. When I was up visiting my mom one day, he was in a dumpster, and I got thinking about that, and it's kind of like this. 
He had never known a cornfield his whole life. I'm sure that he thought every meal that he got came from that dumpster because his mother probably took him there too. And it kind of reminds me of people. We too can come complacent with our environment and our surroundings. And so our children and our grandchildren may never realize the freedoms that have been changed and taken away from us. Just like that raccoon. If you were to tell him that his parents used to eat in a cornfield right there in that spot where that dumpster was, I'll bet he would never believe you. Our children and grandchildren will only know the stories of our forefathers, probably not believing half of the stories that we too came complacent in a couple generations. So today, as you hunt over your great bird dog and ponder and remember how truly great this great nation is, and how we all share the same love of bird dogs and upland hunting. And think about this, folks. What did you do this week, this month, to help the sporting dog industry continue in these younger generations? Like us, follow us on Facebook. We've got a website, gilmorebrittanys.com, and hunt them up.